Hi, welcome to Passion for Life with Dee and Friends, and I'm Dee, and um, I have a couple of friends here besides Theta, and um, I thank goodness, but it's really fantastic to finally have some friends, more friends. I'm, of course, you are the best friend. <laughs> but um, I'm so excited because the friends that we have here have helped us go through a journey, and it's like amazing, amazing. You know, so I'm going to talk to you regarding your journey first and then I'm going to explain my journey and then we're going to go to them and explain their journey okay, okay? okay. so your passion and I know your passion is is always helping people right. physically mm -hmm. mentally mm -hmm. financially okay and of course our bodies right and we have somebody here that's that's going to be sharing oh it's yeah. amazing our it's what we've been doing what detox and um, just the fact that our bodies have gone through such a transformation mm -hmm. and and it's working yes. and that's amazing that's I had to stop saying amazing what the hell <laughs> anyway <laughs> but so Theta please share your your journey well I've always was into health and natural things but I could not lose my midsection mm -hmm. and I was always having problems because of menopausal um, feelings and anxieties. Mm -hmm. So I really didn't want to try to lose weight. That, that wasn't my goal, mm -hmm. but that was a side effect because I, I needed to detox and get rid of all of this, the, the crazy toxins that was in my body. Mm -hmm. And so I just ran across, happened to stumble upon a wonderful organization, mm -hmm. Phil, and his, his I'll, let, let, I'll let you introduce them, but they helped me detox a lot of the chemicals that was in my body. And also, I lost it. I started January 15th mm -hmm. and finished the program on March 2nd. Mm -hmm. And even since then, I was still toning down. Right. So um, I, I no longer have those menopausal feelings right. that I... I'm so, I could be sitting someplace and then I just had, had to get out and just take a, a powder, which that really has alleviated that's gone because of all of those detoxins right. those those toxins that I had in my body so well I know it myself know. I've been so many on so many diets and I know we have some pictures so we're going to show the pictures before and after so yeah. that's amazing mm -hmm. so at this point I have had my journey and my journey started a little sooner before you because mm -hmm. you weren't quite ready but I was as soon as I knew you were ready because yeah. that's why you shared it to me yeah. but you weren't right ready ready but as soon as I went there I was like I'm I'm starting now mm -hmm. <laughs> so I started what on what January 5th and oh my goodness in the first 10 days I lost 14 pounds mm -hmm. so that was just fantastic for itself and then after that I just continued to lose mm -hmm. and People were watching me, and they said, you're eating. You're eating so much. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and you're still losing. So it was yeah. really, I couldn't believe it, because I still was in blood pressure medicine, mm -hmm. and I ended up coming off of that last blood pressure medicine, because I have done so many diets, okay? Because actually, at two years old, they told my parents, oh, yeah, she's going to be 200 pounds by the time I was 12. So, yeah, I was. And then I actually ended up going up to about 300 pounds. So, wow. it's, it, you know, a lot of people know my story, mm -hmm. but I didn't realize why I was going through all this. You know, why is my body going through? through this but then I kind of knew because I was going on this journey and I've done so many diets you know and I'm not going to list them all but uh, went through them all and um, we've been talking mm -hmm. about health and mm -hmm. wellness and holistic right. and for for how for how long you know since September and um, when you shared um, unique 
unique health Health. with us. And I went to the seminar and I was like, oh, I'm I'm in. Let's start right now. And I started and it was, I was so happy you shared. And, um to meet these folks yeah you know yeah so are we going to show the pictures before or i introduce or after i think i think the audience should uh see uh, each of your before pictures mm-hmm. okay this moment. well we're going to show our pictures before and i'm only halfway through at this point you know i actually just at my last visit it was 49 pounds but i'm going to say 50 <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm going to say 50 pounds and that was my first goal right Okay, because I still need to lose another, uh, I don't know. You know, I just want to look good. Right. So it's not about what I end up with. I just mm-hmm. want to feel good and look good. Right. I already look good, though, but yeah. just look better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's amazing. So we have pictures from before, and we have pictures from after. So um, I don't know whether our technical person's going to throw it up there. So you can put theta up there, and then you can put, that's theta? Mm. Really? And the side shot. Wow. Yeah. Theta. I really? lost over 16 inches. Wow. I lost over 16 inches. That's you amazing. Stand up and show them what you look like now? Sure. Here I am. Wait, I'm not on No, See, it's, it's, it's going to be hard. Yeah, it's, it's not far. Yeah. Yeah. It's, far. yeah. it's okay. What about, what about these pictures? Yeah, it would be too hard. Oh, now that's me. That's why I made sure you all put got another picture of me because getting up is is not gonna do. But yeah, that's me. Oh gosh. <laughs> but that's not you now. Yeah, no, that's not me now. That's not me now. But um, I'm not standing up. But you you all took pictures of me last of the. Yeah. You have them. No, we, we thought you'd be able to stand. Oh, no. Yeah, he said we no. can't stand because we like to stand. No, I'm not standing. I'm not doing couch. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, I'm like I my belly. <laughs> but no, that's why I said you all needed to bring, that's why I said take that picture of me because I know you have to have a side by side. This is, yeah. There'll, you know, be, there'll be a lot more pictures. But that's fine. But yeah. I do, well, people can see my face, and they can definitely see Theta's face, that mm-hmm. we have got, gotten a lot smaller, you know. Yes. So it's, it's, it's phenomenal. And maybe at the end um, we can do something, something. You know, I'll have to ask the technical people, you know. But, but at this point, we're going to mm-hmm. introduce, well, they have seen a transformation of us for, since September. Because it definitely has been a transformation. And we are just very healthy now and feeling mm-hmm. so good. But um, I have to introduce Phil and um, his team. And it's Unique Health. And um, usually on the couch, we usually ask you what your passion for life is. So um, at this point, Phil, thank you so much again um, for getting us to this journey. And what is your passion for life? So... Um you know, my, my passion for life is, is really to be able to educate and influence and affect uh, as many people's lives positively uh, through educating them about processed foods mm-hmm. um, and a lot of things that people are, are they, they think they're doing mm-hmm. healthy, uh, but they're really, they're really not. You know, there are a lot of things that society tells <coughs> us mm-hmm. um, and that we think are healthy. Uh, and we call those things half-truths um, because they're supposed to be healthy, but because of the way they're processed or packaged, uh, they're actually not. And it's having a, a, a major toll and impact on our society. You know, so as many people, my passion for life is as many people as I can educate and affect positively, not only for themselves, but for them to be able to teach their, their friends and their families and their coworkers and their children um, is, is, is my passion for life. Right. Well, you have done that for us. You have impacted our lives and to help share with other people. And I know I had my mom there. I had my cousin there. I ha- you know, it's like everybody that sees us and sees what's going on because everybody needs this. Didn't know what the process foods was doing. We kind of knew, but really didn't know. So it just kind of brought a whole light into us, and that helped us just realize what was going on. Because, as I said, I've been doing diets for forever, and the fact that um, 
I didn't know why I couldn't diet. You know, and actually, we're with a company that does body composition. So, and it's not, it's, it's about eating every day something right to put your food food. And you taught us to put that combination together and just helped us so much. So, thank you again. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, you. it's absolutely been my pleasure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I mean, you, you nailed it. You know, not only you, but you. You know, you, you provided me with one of the highest honors, you know, uh, for what I do. And, and that is when someone is on program uh, and they're trusting enough in, in myself and my company and the people that work for me that they bring their mom, mm -hmm. um, you know, or they bring, you know, one of their children uh, to do the program or learn what we're teaching. You know, that is uh, absolutely one of the highest honors. And, and I thank you, you know, for that opportunity. Um, I, I do. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well... And then Sandra helped my mom. She she was so patient. So, so um, my pleasure. <laughs> so Sandra, and what's my passion for life? What is your passion for life? <laughs> you know, it, it stems from I think everyone has a journey, right? Mm -hmm. And um, through that journey, I think we find little pieces here and there. And I think um, the paying it forward. Uh, <coughs> this journey for myself was was a gift, um, and to be able to now extend that gift and share with others mm -hmm. uh, what I've learned and um, you know it's funny at the end of everyone's journey at working with us they'll say oh my goodness thank you mm -hmm. and it's when it hits me and it's no thank you because they keep me grounded mm -hmm. and they keep reminding me of why I do this mm -hmm. um, and so again it's it's kind of a ditto um, you know to not just educate but to be there supportively and um, it, it's a long <coughs> process and mm -hmm. for some regardless of how much weight you know the emphasis sometimes is is on the overweight mm -hmm. and that could be 5 10 15 20 40 50 and, and, mm -hmm. and above it's all relative mm -hmm. it's all what people are struggling with right. but um, it, it's um, it's again the paying forward the being able to support and help and uh, getting someone through their journey mm -hmm. that has been uh, wonderful uh, it's a great experience and and I hope to continue to be able to uh, help empower people that everyone has it I'm gonna just bring it on to this you know, this is a segue well, for everyone has what you will know in a minute a Yamalet in them <laughs> you know but before we before we move on to Yamalet I, I would like to ask if if uh, we can put Sandra's before picture on. Oh gosh, you Sandra, don't want to do that. <laughs> Sandra, Sandra, you know, was someone who, who came to me um, who was interested in, in improving her health mm -hmm. and her energy level and taking care of uh, some weight issues. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and as we go through the show, I think that, you know, people should really, you know, uh, see who they're talking to right. um, and, and get a glimpse of, you know, Sandra's before picture. Okay. Um, well, I could well, say it was a nice 80 pounds ago. Well, I'll tell wow. you, Basically, everybody has gone through program at this point. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So everyone, everyone everybody on here. in this in this right everybody now here have has gone through some kind of has gone through the program yep. and right. continues to go through the program. Mm -hmm. sure. So yes, we'll, we'll put, do you have your picture also? Um, no, I don't. But I will bring it to the next show. <laughs> okay, so definitely. We'll bring it with your. Okay. With your, with your. <laughs> Well, by that time, hopefully, I'll have another picture. Yeah. You know, we'll have transition. So, um, we'll have to put Sandra's. No, they did her. Oh, they did. Oh, oh they did. I missed Good. it. I, I missed it too. <laughs> <laughs> For all of you that saw that out there, it's okay. It's no, but I know you look wonderful. Thank you. You know, because every time and my mom was like so impressed with you, she was like, "Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous." <laughs> and, and here's the thing: I mean, we, we emphasize a lot on, on 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 the weight, on a number, on the aesthetics, mm -hmm. um, and all of that is is wonderful. I think yeah. it's it's the little bonus, the the little um, you know, the little extra. But mm -hmm. um, the feeling great, you know, the being able to walk, mm -hmm. um, walking up. And down the stairs with 80 pounds on you you know is a lot of stress on yeah. joints on muscles and so forth mm -hmm. so the overall health is is a wonderful thing yeah. so it's not just aesthetics everyone no. it's also that feeling great mm -hmm. and and for those that struggle with the weight and have medical issues mm -hmm. blood pressure cholesterol diabetes uh, this is something that yeah. is uh, powerful yeah. and will eliminate and help get rid of all of those meds that they're on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I know for sure, myself included. Yeah. So, Yamalek, <coughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. And nice thank you for coming you. all the way here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm grateful. 
And so what is your passion for life? Well, um, so when Phil asked me the question earlier, I, I, it threw me back a little bit mm -hmm. um, because I guess I, um, as a nurturer by nature, mm -hmm. yeah, I have many passions. But I, um, if I had to narrow it down, it's genuinely I love to help people. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. And to help them to be successful. Right. So whether that be spiritually, mm -hmm. um, physically, mentally, um, to go through different problems that they may have mm -hmm. and know that they can count on someone that they can actually come to and genuinely wants to help them that's what i am mm -hmm. so for my passion is people helping right. them and helping them to be successful well again we all share that <laughs> also yeah. Yeah. that's why we're here yeah. so it's definitely something that we have to bring together to so people need to be educated yeah. so now we have your picture can we go to her picture or we do a commercial first Let's okay, unfortunately, we have to do the commercial first. So we got to pay the bills. So we'll be back in just one minute. Thank you. Being a wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas. With a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note. Kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh, trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero, just call me. Let me know what time. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did.
Hi, welcome back to Passion for Life with Dee and Friends, and I'm Dee, and I have some friends, Dita and, and Phil and Sandra and Yamalette, and um, we're about to show the picture of Yamalette, and it's very traumatic. So I haven't seen it yet, but I just know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put that picture up on um, the, the monitor, and um, her. okay. That is her? Are yeah. yeah. Wow. Excellent. Wow. Yeah, is that I don't know her. Is that you don't know her anymore, huh? <laughs> That's a mm. blessing. Hey. Wow! Wow! I thought I was really cute that day. <laughs> 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 Thank you. You're still cute. You are. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So those are all before. Yeah, yeah. there's actually uh, the last uh, one of the the ones after that is uh, her. Uh, before and in the middle of her program in a purple shirt. Oh, okay. Um, which is probably 20 or 30 Okay, pounds. there, I think that's yeah. it. Yeah. There's another one. <laughs> okay. Hey, you sent that to us. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and then you have the, the final one? No, well, we didn't do a final she, one. You didn't do the final well, she, one? I, they're, looking at, they're, they're looking at her. Yeah, but still, you know, it's always so cool to have it like yeah. side by side. Oh. We'll, we'll do a final one. Instructions, one instructions. That's, that's part two. Part two. When, okay, when, part when two. Okay, back, yes, you, yes, definitely. You yeah. have to come back for sure. Yeah, well, we'll oh, you'll all be back very soon. We'll do, we'll do the standing version of the show. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'll have would have lost another who knows how many pounds. You know, we'll, we'll get you off that yes. chair. That's oh, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's better than where it was for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so, Mr. Phil. I think um, <clears throat> I think you know there are a lot of uh, pictures. Oh yeah. On there. Oh okay. You want to see some yeah, more? Maybe, okay. maybe we should show the audience. Uh, you know, you know, five, six, seven uh, before and after shots. Okay. Do you have the them road. close together? Oh, they're they're oh, they're back. They're, they're back side to, by side. Oh, back side by side. Okay. Okay. You know, and, and this is just some other people that have you know went through the program, program and uh, has you know, success. To, exactly. Yeah. And everybody's you know what. It just makes sense. This program is phenomenal, phenomenal, and it does make sense. And your when you are ready to do it, mm -hmm. and people commit to it, they love it. Yeah, you know, I know from mm -hmm. my talking from experience because it just made so much sense, and you don't even realize what all these foods are doing to you. And now it's all coming out, and people just don't know. Yeah. I mean that's what we do, we, and we educate people. Yeah, on that. yeah. You know, after we see you know a few of these pictures, mm -hmm. you know, we're gonna go into a little bit about the company and what we do. Okay. And I believe like right after your second picture on there starts, you know, some of our before and after pictures. Okay. So, um, technical, can you please share those pictures for, with you? Okay. There goes a couple. And that's before and, that's, and after, yes. Yeah. I met her friend, actually. She started programming the same time as I did. And, and she was so inspired by her. Yeah. yeah. 20, yeah. 27 pounds. And that, wow. that, that was an wow. example of, of not that much weight. It's right. just where it's distributed. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Yeah. And then another and lady. I must, I must say um, that um, that wonderful lady there is actually wearing her daughter's prom dress. Really? Wow. Oh, my. Wow. That's fabulous. How much did she lose? She went on to lose, I think, over 50. Really? Very good. And this other young lady? Very, very dramatic. Oh, my yeah. God. It's a metamorphosis. Yeah, It's really. just a complete... No, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 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 and I mean, you, just, you have to look at the excitement on their faces with, with the after pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, they just, you know, some of these people who have done program, they've, they, they never imagine themselves. You know, I tell, I ask people towards the end of their program, I look at when they started mm -hmm. and I, and I say, you know, you know, a uh, day or two before of their start date, mm -hmm. I said, did you think you would ever be at this place? No, really. You know, and it just, you can see the chills that it mm -hmm. sends. No, without a doubt. where people... Because when you all took my picture the other day, when I was in um, the office, I, I had people clapping for me, you know? I was <laughs> like, wow. It just made me feel so, so good. And these people don't know me, you know? But it was like we're all going through that same journey. Mm -hmm. And it just made us, you know, we all are just 
pulling together. I believe one of the young ladies, she was like, oh, yes, we need to make a group and just go out and, and you know, do our little food because we all know what to eat now. <laughs> I was like, I think her name is Kathy. And she was like, yes, let's do this. I was like, okay, no problem. You know, I, I, I must admit, I think one of the funnest places where I just watch people have fun and smile and enjoy themselves mm -hmm. is in our waiting room. Yes, yes. Um, you know, people running into each other they know, talking about foods, mm -hmm. smiling, sharing their successes on program. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's just, it's a wonderful thing for me to see every every time I walk out. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's, it's a full waiting room of people that are just having a good time. I mean, some people literally show up early mm -hmm. just to hang out in the waiting room. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I know the experiences I've had. And I know I've gone to a couple of your lectures and what have you because, of course, I have to go with my family and what have you. But um, everybody, you know, it's not easy. So, but it's not that hard when you're ready to do it. So tell us a little bit about the program and what we're trying to do and, and where it's going. So, you know, the, the program that I run is, mm -hmm. is a detox program. Mm -hmm. It's a body cleaning program. Right. Um, it is not a diet, and right. it's, it's very important for people to understand that because there are actually uh, a lot of things that I recommend mm -hmm. that are completely opposite of mm -hmm. what the diet industry would tell you to do. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, our main focus on this program, and it can be for anybody because anybody can do this program. Right. You know, uh, yes, a lot of people come to us um, and, and they want to experience some sort of weight loss, mm -hmm. um, but there are a lot of people that come to us that, that aren't interested in weight loss. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's something with their digestive system mm -hmm. that they're helping clean up. Maybe it's their, their skin. Maybe it's their sleeping habits and mm -hmm. patterns. Um, you know, there are just a, a vast array of reasons why people come to Unique Health. Right. Um, you know, and some people just show up and they, they want to detox and clean and, and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and anyone can really do this program. But what we really focus on uh, is we focus on, on detoxing four main things on this program. Mm -hmm. We focus on detoxing uh, preservatives, mm -hmm. additives, uh, hormones, and appetite stimulants. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like to just take a couple of minutes and, and really go through these things mm -hmm. um, and maybe uh, have the opportunity with a larger audience mm -hmm. you know, to share what these things are and how they really do affect us. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, and I know that you've heard this before, but you know, it might be nice to do a, a little bit of a role play of kind of what uh, seminar, you know, the beginning of it at least uh, sounds like, mm -hmm. you know, and <clears throat> we talk about, you know, preservatives mm -hmm. and, you know, preservatives are there to preserve food, to keep mm -hmm. food fresher longer. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, if, if we looked at a pear tree, mm -hmm. you know, if we stepped outside and there was a pear tree and we picked a pear and we ate it, you know, my question would be, you know, Deidre, how much preservatives would be in that pear? Mm -hmm. Well... <clears throat> It depends on where. If the tree was just sitting outside right now. Well. In your backyard. Hopefully there would be none. <clears throat> none. Yeah. Right? There yeah, generally exactly. aren't preservatives right. in, exactly. inside of, you know, f mm -hmm. fresh, natural grown mm -hmm. fruit. Right. And see, what happens is when you eat that pear, mm -hmm. it goes through your digestive systems and your bodies break it down, mm -hmm. pull out the vitamins, the minerals, the nutrients. But as this pear goes through your system, it eventually starts to go bad. Right. You know, and that's the natural process. Right. The natural process is food goes bad in our system. And it's the same for every man, for every woman, for every child. Exactly. Um, and, you know, our bodies were designed brilliantly, mm -hmm. absolutely brilliantly. Exactly. And our bodies are, are built in, in many ways to protect us and to preserve our life. Mm -hmm. And what happens is when food is going bad in our systems, our bodies can register that and know that and understand it. And the body says, you know what? This is going bad. Let's mm -hmm. get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Let's move it to the large intestines, the colon, bowel movement, mm -hmm. out the door it goes. Right. That's the natural process. Mm -hmm. you know. But what happens is, is when we're eating food that's loaded with preservatives, those preservatives are there to keep the food fresher mm -hmm. longer. And when we're ingesting these things and digesting them and our bodies are breaking it down, those preservatives are even keeping that food fresh in our system mm -hmm. and not allowing it to go bad. <clears throat> our bodies will then look at that food and say, well, it's not going bad. And if it's not going bad, why should I get rid of it? Mm -hmm. You know, let, here's another natural protection method. Mm -hmm. Let me take this food that's not going bad and hold on to it and put it into storage, you know, in case I'm ever starving, in case I run out of food. You know, the body putting food in storage is a natural protection method. Mm -hmm. But you have to ask yourself, what storage? 
storage is the excess weight, the fat on our hips, on our stomachs, you know, on our buttocks, <clears throat> you know, and, and our bodies are, are just storing all of this food with preservatives in it. Mm -hmm. So someone might want to think to themselves, okay, well, if that's the case, what foods have preservatives in it? Mm -hmm. What foods have preservatives? You know, <clears throat> um, and if you think about it, a very quick answer is anything packaged. Mm -hmm. Anything packaged, uh, anything with a label on it, you know, these foods are going to have preservatives. You know, I tell people a little bit about my background. You know, I've been doing this for about six and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I tell everybody this. I have literally worked with thousands of people on this program. I have helped and affected the lives positively of thousands of people, you know, doing this. But before I started doing this, I was actually a chef. Mm -hmm. I have a degree in culinary arts. I have a degree in food management. I studied nutrition. And, you know, there are some things that I learned while I was in that field mm -hmm. that I love teaching people in, in this field here. Right. And, you know, one of the things that I learned is that when you package food for sale, mm -hmm. packaging it for sale, legally, you have to put a put preservative something. in yes. right. it. Yes. It's, it's the legal standard. If not... It can be taken off the shelves and you can get a hefty fine. Now, quick question. Yeah. Now, preservatives, those are basically chemicals too, right? No, they so, are. Correct. So the, 98% so, of them are and, chemicals. And most of the chemicals, and that's what we usually talk about, the chemicals actually elicit a, 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 a reaction because our body is so phenomenal. It actually doesn't want to recognize it, so it just kind of like attacks those things does that happen too you know well like, correct it, it does and and yeah. you know our bodies are are not built to digest chemicals right we're built to digest right. food right right and there is absolutely a chemical reaction yeah. that occurs mm -hmm. and what happens is you know it, when the body can't break it down and digest mm -hmm. it it says well i don't know what to do with this mm -hmm. I, I i can't digest it yeah. you know so let me just take it and hold it and put it into storage okay. and hold on to it until i can figure out what to do with right, it right. you know and that's where the processed food is in another area right. causing us to gain more and more right, weight right right <clears throat> and your body just doesn't work properly with that processed food well no absolutely not yeah. i mean it's it's where you know, it's it's where, um, you know, bad skin comes in, digestive mm -hmm. issues come mm -hmm. in, sleep issues come mm -hmm. in, you know, al along with, uh, you know, the, the, the impact yeah. on someone's weight. Yeah. Because I know that's probably, you know, why my body never was able to lose the weight. You know, even though I've done everything under the sun, you know, even the lap band, you know, I don't tell my friends and family. I never told my fans, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, hi, yeah, I did, I did the lap band. But I didn't... <laughs> No, I really didn't want anybody to know yeah. because, you know, understand this. You know, they look at me and say, oh, well, she couldn't lose the weight and what have you. And it was like, really? It's hard, you know? And it's like, why couldn't you get it off? And, and Didi, if I could say, you know, that that's a point that a lot of um, the clients mm -hmm. that, uh, whether it's a lap band or they've had a gastric mm -hmm. bypass, mm -hmm. if you think about it, they go in and they're doing something physical, mm -hmm. you know, so they're going in. But what happens when they leave that surgery? Um, there are things that haven't changed, okay. um, their haven't habits, changed or difference. what led them to that excess weight, mm -hmm. uh, the way they're eating, the exactly. chemicals in the food, that hasn't changed from the cravings, um, and their metabolism mm -hmm. is, is still at a standpoint. Yeah, so exactly. that is just something that physically is, has been done, but on program, let's call it a natural gastric bypass. Mm -hmm. But you know, one yeah. of the other things that, that doesn't happen for people uh, that, that have a bypass or a sleeve or something like that is the education, mm -hmm. is the knowledge of mm -hmm. what really is what. You know, because when we're eating foods um, that have preservatives in them, you know, one of the things uh, that we don't realize is sometimes we're eating foods that we think are healthy. And then, you know, and they're not. You know, so someone says, I want to be healthy, I want to lose some weight, or I want better sleep mm -hmm. or more energy. And, you know, I heard eating vegetables would do that. And they're buying canned vegetables yeah. or frozen vegetables. Yeah, they're packaged mm -hmm. next to no nutritional value. Yeah. <clears throat> and because they're packaged, there's going to be a preservative in it, and their body's going to say, how much of this can I store and hold on to? Okay. Remember that thought. Okay. Okay, because we, we're told we need another phone, another um, commercial. commercial. So we'll be right back. Number one fence provider on Long Island with the most inventory in stock. 
including vinyl chain link and Illuminates offers a custom powder coated system that prevents rust throughout the life of the fence. We carry fence tools to the trade. We even stock wood, rail, and glass hardware as well. Shannon Gates has our very own patented locking system. The next time you need fencing of any sort, both commercial and private, give Shannon Gates a call at 631-392-4330. You can also visit our website at shannongatesinc.com. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? It's just me, GMC, in the place to be, the greatest MC in history. There will never be an MC greater than me. And right about now, the only place for you to be is with the one, the only, Mad Cow <laughs> TV. You are the best. Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle, very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that is formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners. Could switching to GEICO really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Do dogs chase cats? <laughs> Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I think this is a good time to tell you. You're doing okay, Mom. I can call you Mom, right? I know we haven't known each other very long, but you seem like a real keeper. You're not perfect. There was that strained carrots incident, but you're trying. You pick up my bottle every time I toss it out of my stroller. That's high comedy to an eight-month-old. You hum the Barber of Seville when you wash my hair. So cool. <laughs> and your rubdowns are out of this world. Anyway, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. You know, right? How much I love you? You're doing okay, Mom. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. 
You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. Hi, welcome back to Passion for Life with Dean and Friends. And um, we're going to get back to Phil. Time is just flying. We're having such a good time here. And so you'll definitely be back. So what's up with mm -hmm. that? So, <laughs> you know, I think where we were was we were talking about preservatives and food. Right. And, and, you know, even foods that we think are healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I want to put an example out there that most people would know that are looking at their health or watching their weight. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that is, you know... Uh, buying bag chop lettuce mm -hmm. you know sometimes it has the shredded carrots in it mm -hmm. you know and, and i've already told uh you know the audience that i've you know i used to be a chef and mm -hmm. you know when i was a chef there was a gentleman that worked the salad station right. and you know his job was to chop the lettuces that we sold mm -hmm. and once he chopped those lettuces we really only had 24 hours to sell that right. and whatever was left we had to throw it in the garbage because yeah. it, it went bad yeah mm -hmm. you know and you know, if you're the type of person who has been buying that chopped lettuce with shredded carrots, you know, here's what I want you to think about. Whatever company it is, mm -hmm. is that company in your neighborhood? <laughs> Do they have a plant in your neighborhood? Yeah. And if the answer is no, you know, where's the plant? Mm -hmm. How long do you think it takes for them to pick, chop a bag, get in a truck or a plane to your local supermarket? Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, we can talk about time frames all day long. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you from the food industry, if the world is perfect and everything goes off without a hitch and they're a fast company, maybe they can do it in 24 hours, mm -hmm. maybe. But then you have to think it's in the back of a supermarket now and a whole other company. Mm -hmm. And how long does it take to get from the back to the front of the supermarket? Mm -hmm. And if the world is perfect and, and they're a great company, it's going to take at least another 24 hours. But then you want to ask yourself, when you buy that and you take it home, how long does it sit in your fridge before you actually open it and start to eat it? Mm -hmm. right, minimum 24 hours. Exactly. Right? But we're opening this up and dumping it out, and it's as fresh as can be. Yeah, and the expiration yeah. date is like four or five uh, days later. Four or five <laughs> days later. Right. Sometimes you can pass that expiration date, and it's, it's still fresh. Yeah. You know, but when I worked in the restaurants and in kitchens, we mm -hmm. had 24 hours. Right. And the question you have to ask yourself is, you know, why is it still fresh? Because exactly. Because it's full of preservatives. Yeah, exactly. And again, you know, this is what we call half-truths. Mm -hmm. And these are things that society is telling us, and they're not lying to us. They're just not telling us the whole okay. truth. You know, vegetables are supposed to be good for us. Lettuce is supposed to be good for us. Mm -hmm. You know, but when we're buying it pre-packaged, chopped up, canned, or frozen, mm -hmm. it's really doing the exact opposite of what we intended to do. Exactly. And it's important for people to start thinking about these things and purchasing more fresh fruits and more fresh vegetables you know to help them start achieving the results that they're actually looking for yeah. you know as yeah. as an as, as an ex-chef you know some people think cooking frozen is faster it's really not mm -hmm. you know it's it can sometimes it take less time to cook fresh right. than, than it can take to cook frozen mm -hmm. you know and and preservatives are the first thing that we detox on this program yeah um you know and and i said that we detox four things and you know the second thing are, are additives and you know, additives, you know, 20 different de uh, definitions in the dictionary. You know, the one that we refer to is the extra vitamins and minerals in food that is not naturally a part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and a really good example I give people would be orange juice. Mm -hmm. Because 20, 30 years ago, you went to buy orange juice and that's what you got. Yeah. But mm -hmm. now you go to buy orange juice and it's got, you know, extra calcium and DHA and omega-3s, mm -hmm. you know. And so I ask you, where do <laughs> omega-3s usually come from? Fish. 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 Hello. Fish. When was the last time you saw a fish hanging out in an orange tree? Never. When was the last time you saw an orange tree in the ocean? Never. They don't go together. Mm -hmm. Well, I always say that only is on uh, what? SpongeBob? <laughs> yeah, oh. it's on, on SpongeBob. That's it. Okay. <laughs> You know, and the truth of the matter is all of these extra vitamins and minerals, when our body doesn't need them, mm -hmm. you know, it's not going to store 100%, but mm -hmm. as a protection method, it's going to try to grab and hold on to as much of it as it can, right. especially if it's a vitamin or mineral, right. as right. a protection method, right. you know, um, and here's, you know, here's the challenge. You know, next time you're in the supermarket, walk down the breakfast cereal aisle and count how many different breakfast cereals. Say if you eat one bowl of their cereal, you're getting 100% <laughs> of your daily vitamins and minerals. Oh, my. <laughs> and the sad thing is, is people are trying to be healthy and even yeah. for their families and their children. And this is the first thing they're eating during the day, which means all the other food they're eating later that day with similar vitamins and minerals, their bodies are saying, how much can I store? How much can I hold on to? You know, and, you know, the truth of the matter is just look at society. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 20, 30 years ago, 
you know, we didn't, we had obesity, but it wasn't to the rate that it is now. And 20, 30 years before that, it was even less. And, and the more we start to scientifically engineer our food, you know, it's in direct correlation with the weight of our society. Yeah, without a mm -hmm. doubt. And you know yeah. what? Why in the United States it's worse than any other country? Because we're allowing certain things to happen. So I know the time is just cooking. I'm looking. So I want to hear the stories, okay? I know you have a story, but we're going to go to the ladies. Oh, yeah, okay? absolutely. So we're going to go to... Because you just reached goal four days ago. That's what you informed me, <laughs> which is phenomenal. We're going to go to you, Yamlet. First, okay. and you want me to just? I want to, you know, like your journey on what, how you you started. Okay. You can say how how you know with your dieting experience right. and what happened dieting, okay. and now with what you're going through now, right? Well, learning I, how to eat, right? Well, yeah, the wonderful tools I got. Yeah, you know, I I really appreciate that you say as a journey. As Phil mm -hmm. was saying before, this is mm -hmm. totally different than any diet. Mm -hmm. Um. And like I was telling you prior to us to coming on, um, I've probably tried every diet uh, known to man except for one. Mm -hmm. um, I always tell people I can be a guru <laughs> at, <laughs> at workouts and diets. Right. I've done them all. And it wasn't because of lack of passion or lack of willpower, as uh, people like to say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I was not successful. And so for me in particular, this journey... Um, came at the right time where I had the right mindset mm -hmm. um, and you brought that out um, this program is not easy but if you are ready it is the best thing that you can ever do mm -hmm. and so that's what happened to me so this particular journey for me started on October 26 mm -hmm. and it was a referral from someone who I didn't know personally mm -hmm. came through it was a third party but after praying so much about um, where I wanted to be, and I've never been the type of person that ever wanted to have surgery, but I was at that point. Mm -hmm. And just to elaborate, it took me years to get to that point. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have anything against surgery for anyone else, but yeah. for me, no, it wasn't something that I wanted. But I was such in a bad place at mm -hmm. the time, and this, this came about, and it was the best thing. I sat in seminar for two hours. And it felt like it flew by, and mm -hmm. the information that I was getting, you were getting genuine, mm -hmm. real information, right. things I've never heard before. Exactly. And so for me, it was, this was for me. Mm -hmm. And my approach to this not easy program was to just deal with it as it came along. So my journey was um, multiple phases. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, now that they see me at almost my full transition, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. that what you see on the outside is awesome yes yeah, yeah. but it is genuinely a reflection of what's been going on on the inside right. and so this journey for me personally has been about working on me inside mm -hmm. there's been a lack of something um, within me for quite a while why I haven't been successful before and that's me finding that self-worth genuine self-worth mm -hmm. without anyone else giving it to me mm -hmm. and what happened uh, with when I met Phil was he empowered me to now Put the things that I've used to use before to not deal with mm -hmm. whatever was going on inside. Mm -hmm. And now I had to deal with them. Mm -hmm. And so the tools that he gave me were things that I started to see myself get healthier. Okay. And because I started to see myself get healthier physically, mm -hmm. I wanted to get healthier on the inside as well. Mm -hmm. So yesterday was my six months on okay. program. What did you start at? Uh, mm -hmm. Weight-wise? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So when I came on program, I was at my heaviest, and I have a lot of people watching. So this is this is big for me to tell this. Yeah, right? I know the feeling. So, right? yeah. um, so uh, when I came in, I was at the heaviest I've ever been in my life. I was three hundred and five pounds when okay. I weighed in that field. Yeah. Um, I got weighed on the tenth. When did mm -hmm. I get weighed, Phil? Yeah, I'm down 100 now. pounds. Excellent. Oh, and congratulations. Yes. So, phenomenal. Um, as you said, in six months. This is six months. No, it's phenomenal. Well, actually, in five months and 24 days. Okay, yes. I hear you. <laughs> but nobody's counting. Nobody's counting. But you know, I tell you the truth. Um, when I came to Phil, I told him I had a goal. He's mm -hmm. phenomenal, by the way. Mm -hmm. Just yes. awesome. I, I, there's not enough words that I can say about Phil. I didn't get to meet Sandra mm -hmm. for after I was, I think, in program for maybe three or four months before I get, okay. got to meet her. Okay. So, but it was the it was the right match at the time. Mm -hmm. I he was what I needed yeah. to get through. Yeah. It wasn't too much. And it wasn't too little. It was right. just right for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And I think that what I needed at the time, and, and which is something I, I keep saying I prayed about because I, that's what I believe in, is that I asked for someone who was going to 
give me the attention that I needed, but I don't need a lot of attention, mm -hmm. right? If you get to know me, yeah, I'm a yeah. pretty much independent woman, but I think that what people forget is that independent people need people to check on them mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And so that was me. Yeah. And so he checked on me. And right. when he said I'm available from 10 to 10, he yeah. meant it. Yeah. And when he said I'm going to call you and check on you, he meant that. Yeah. And I think maybe I frustrated him because I didn't need his attention as much as <laughs> He thought maybe I did or yeah. maybe others have, right, you know, right. but it's just my personality. So yeah. what he gave me was just enough yeah. to keep me encouraged and moving. And of course, like anything else, and I'll stress this, when you see the change, that motivates you to want to keep yeah, going. Definitely. Is this program easy? Absolutely not. Yeah. But can it be done? Absolutely. Yes, yes. And for someone who has gone through, um, I want I, I, I kept saying, you know, I've been talking to my friends, people who I hold dear to me. Um, that has been 15 years journey. It may be a little bit more, you know, because mm -hmm. I, I minimize it. I used mm -hmm. it to compare myself to my daughter who's 10. My son is now 23. And in between, somewhere in between there, life happened to me really mm -hmm. hard on many, on many mm -hmm. levels. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type of person that if you saw me, you saw me coping and dealing. Mm -hmm. But internally, I was dying. Yeah. And so it manifested itself on the outside. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while that's this journey of wanting to feel better about myself. Right. And as much as I said in the beginning, I am a nurturer, mm -hmm. giver by nature. There's nothing that I wouldn't give anyone who's dear to me. Yeah. Um, but when it came to me, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so finally, coming to Unique Health and getting on program, I have actually decided to do something for me. Mm -hmm. The money didn't mean anything to me because I was worth it. Um, the time that I take out, you know, sometimes I'm there for quite a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. It's worth it because yeah. I'm worth it. Exactly. I'm um, taking out the time to learn how to eat differently. Mm -hmm. I'm worth it. Definitely. I'm finally stopped spinning this week and it's kind of throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> I've been spinning for six yeah. months. I'm thrown off a little bit. Right. Um, I was supposed to get on maintenance three weeks ago and I had a little setback. I want us to talk about that because throughout the program, I've only lost from okay. day one. Uh, right, exactly. First weeks. Exactly. Actually, Phil may not know this, but I was not on program 10 days before I came back. It was actually eight days. I lost 16 pounds mm. and 10 inches. Wow. Shocking. Wow. Because you're, normally it's a 10-day cycle. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But ever since I've been on program, all along, mm -hmm. I've been losing. Until exactly. it was time for me, I chose to go on maintenance. Uh -huh. And I actually gained a pound. Really? And that was devastating because it, it identified mm -hmm. that there was something still wrong. Yeah, yeah. It had nothing to do with the food. Right. It just had to do with me. Yeah. And when Phil said, okay, what are we going to do? I said, we're going to do two more rounds and then mm -hmm. we go on maintenance. Okay. And he's like, you're sure? And it was no question. Okay. Because I know that there were some things I still needed to work out. Yeah. And the program thus far has helped me to work out all of those things. Wow. Still a work in progress. Well, spring. you know what? But you say spinning. You know, spinning. people yeah. don't know what the spinning, oh, spinning is. Because you didn't really touch on the spinning portion. Yeah, we'll leave that for stage two. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of people that are watching that don't know about right. the program. Well, you can just say mm -hmm. acu, you know. A form of acu, a form of acupressure. Right. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. all. Yeah. You know, it's like, it, it's... And if they come to seminar, they'll, they'll hear yeah. about they'll it. They'll hear all that's about where, it, you know? That's where the magic happens, in the seminar. Oh, Oh, it's, it's, it's great. I'm so glad. Thank you. Because anyway, she, she shared with me. Because yeah. she had gone first. And I was always looking, like yeah. you said. Yeah. I was like, I've been looking. And I cried at my... When I went to um, About the Lap Band, yeah. I actually cried in, in the doctor's office. And I didn't do it for two years right. after that. Right. Because I, I really didn't want to do right. that. You know? But then I was like... Yeah. So I do understand. Yeah. I do totally. understand. <laughs> you know, because I was 309 pounds, yeah. you know, at my heaviest. So, hey, definitely do understand. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's rough, you know, yeah. but, you yeah. know, but he gave us this tools yes. that we needed. Mm -hmm. And, oh, my goodness, you know, I can start crying because it's just, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and I'm still there. Yeah. And I know sometimes Phil's saying you got to do it a little faster, mm -hmm. but... You're doing it. I'm doing it. You and are consistent doing it. and consistent. Absolutely. Yes. Every Absolutely. I, you know, every day, every yeah. session is something. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, so it is amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we just got the like a five minute mark, so we have five minutes to discuss because I want you to share your information. And um, I know Sandra, if we can do like in like, yeah, I'll do a little combo. Of, okay, of, yeah, real quick uh, because and, I, I I can't top Miss you. Know, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, and and my journey goes back three years ago, mm -hmm. um, merely by chance. The struggle was there for a, a long period of time. 
Um, and like a lot of people out there, um, again, I always say, regardless of how much weight, uh, mine was about 80 pounds mm -hmm. overweight. But th throughout the years, it just seems weight doesn't come on in a year. It just creeps up, yeah. you know, little by little. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, you're walking by and you, whether it's a sidewalk, one of those windows, and you're like, who is that? And then you realize, th is that me? Mm -hmm. um, so there's that connection. But um, in, in, in addition to the health and certain things that were going on that were little alarms, like mm -hmm. your blood pressure is going up and the possibility of foreseeing knee surgery because I you know, had problems going up and down the stairs mm -hmm. that you can imagine when you're carrying 80 pounds. But merely by chance, mm -hmm. uh, born and raised in New York, so I was visiting. Mm -hmm. um, my hometown is... Uh, in Rhode Island, three mm -hmm. hours from, from New York, and um, just happened to run into someone and without a filter in this mouth as this person approached <laughs> me that I did not recognize, the first thing that came out of my mouth was, oh my gosh, did you have a gastric bypass? <laughs> oh, when someone is overweight, I think I had a little bit of, but, and of course, trying to get my foot out of my mouth. And then I was really just <laughs> surrounded by his arms of a thank you and said, you know, this, it's a compliment. Yeah. Um, and I understood the compliment right. to him was the acknowledgement that, oh my gosh, and I didn't even recognize him, um, had lost uh, a little bit over 120 plus wow. pounds. Wow. And then what, where I almost fell to the ground, mm -hmm. mouth opened, was um, the time period, he said, and this is in less than like four, four and a half mm -hmm. months. Wow. Now, so for someone who had struggled and had been on you name it, I did it yeah. type of a program, mm -hmm. um, had lost, and and I thought I was successful, pat on the back, 48 pounds on a mm -hmm. program for two and a half years, mm -hmm. only to have that weight, three quarters of that weight come right back on six right. months later. Right. So the sustainability just wasn't there with mm -hmm. every other type of program that right. I had done. Right. Um, but when I heard that, and this is someone that I had seen, someone that I had known growing up, it wasn't someone out of a magazine, right. it wasn't someone telling me about someone else, this was someone I knew. Mm -hmm. I said, tell me, give me the information, uh, and I'm doing it. He said, right. well, do you still live up there in Rhode Island? I said, I absolutely do. But And here's the thing, when you're ready, you're ready. Exactly. Um, we say this program is phenomenal, it works for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, it is um, unlike any other thing where they say, you know, results are eight to Typical. Mm -hmm. I would just no, I would extend that to our results yeah. are typical. Definitely. I think definitely. the key there though is being ready. So mm -hmm. if you're ready, you're determined. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, it's not for those that need it. How mm -hmm. he says, mm -hmm. uh, even though obviously for those that need it, how wonderful. But it's when you're ready and when you want it. Mm -hmm. And I was ready and I mm -hmm. wanted it yeah. so much so that. I committed to uh, every 10 days uh, getting in my car and driving three hours to do program. Wow. Um, five and a half months later, the 80 pounds was not during my entire program. So I must say there is also an extension of this, mm -hmm. which is all the habits that one gains, right. your metabolism and how that helps it to- Starts moving. Yeah. Moving that yeah. after my program ended, I lost an additional 10 pounds. Right. So, yeah. um, you know, for anyone out there that says, um, I can't do this, if if you're ready, um, you just have to get ready to yeah. uh, to listen to Phil Angelis tell you how you can come on board. <clears throat> so, so you have to tell us where. Right. You where? know, with the with the last minute, we have a location in Rhode Island. We have a location in uh, Jamaica Queens, New York. Mm -hmm. You can find us at www dot unique health dot info. Mm -hmm. um, um, we're also on Facebook, on Pinterest, um, and you can call our main office at seven one eight. Five two three four three four eight. Set up a no obligation informational seminar, uh, basically any time. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So thanks again for coming out and um, sharing all this information. And you know what? I know a lot of people say it's hard to. Well, I have friends that have done cut cut out this, cut out this, cut out that, and they needed to do it and they did it themselves, and that's great. But some people need help. Yeah. And Thank goodness you were there to give us the help because I know I needed help. Mm -hmm. I could not do it by myself. Mm -hmm. So you gave me those tools, and um, I'm still there, and I will be there every 10 days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, Unique Health, it's been phenomenal, a phenomenal experience. These people know what they're doing, mm -hmm. and they're here to help you and um, take advantage of it. They will be here again. I don't know when, but they will be here again. And um, hopefully very soon. And we just, we just love them. 
Thank you, guys. That's it. It's over. No. I was going to say, if you have time, only uh, just to make sure that all of our um, upstate people, uh, Rhode Island up north, Mm -hmm. um, don't feel, you know, left out. There is an office in Rhode Island. You know, he did bring bring You did. Did you get the number? So they don't let them know that they're not driving to New York. Okay. Well, you can go to Unique Health and you can find out uniquehealth.com, right? Uniquehealth.info. Dot info. And you can go there and get all the numbers. So... Welcome. I mean, see y'all. And next week, we, we actually are changing our time, so it will be permanently 8.45. And so, or maybe 9, I'm not sure yet. But, but we'll keep you abreast. And thank you for tuning in, and have a great week. Take care.